What's going on? We back, Goodfella Sports TV. We up in this thing, and it's being reported, and I'll link an article to the description, that Al Heyman is now making a move into the British boxing scene. Um, I heard people asking on Twitter, what happened to the Gale and Eubanks Jr. fight? And um, apparently the negotiations stalled. Um, Al Heyman jumped in, you know, fixed the negotiations, and now they're going to fight in January, and Al Heyman is going to put it on ITV box office. He's also going to put Joe Joyce on there, and he's bringing U.S. T uh, boxing to 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 Britain. So you're gonna be you UK guys are gonna be able to see more U.S. boxing. You know, um, I know they didn't have an outlet for Danny Garcia, Sean Porter fight. I believe it wasn't no outlet, so a lot of UK fans couldn't see it on Box Nation or Sky, or whatever you're watching on. So now, um, you know, Al Heyman is set to put on shows. Uh, on ITV, you know, and the DeGale and Eubanks Jr. fight is is, is, is happening. Is a credit to him making it happen when it you know negotiations start. So now, as Eddie Hearn is moving into the U.S. and trying to make a mark, Al Heyman is trying to sink his battleship and trying to move into the uh, the U.K. boxing scene, man. And I find it as an interesting and strategic move. And you know, I call him Ghost Al Heyman. He don't say nothing. He just move in. And now he really trying to strap his nuts on. He really trying to snatch Eddie Hearn's Hearn soul out of his body. And now he's about to put on fights with, with British fighters. He about to get British fighters paid. And a lot of British fighters going to roll with him. You know, and he has a lot of uh, UK fighters from, you know, uh, Carl Frampton. He has James DeGill. He has some of the Frank Warren, Warren fighters. So is this a strategic move? Uh to really, you know, corner that British market and, and help Deontay Wilder get a fight from AJ, I think it's. I think this is this is this is a, a like a Fred from Barbershop Conversation said. This is part of the Forty Eight Laws of Power. I'm not familiar with all of them. I heard of the book, but I think I, I really think this is this is basically you know Al Heyman is trying to you know body bag Eddie Hearn. This is what this is. This is a power move. This is he. Why are you trying to come over here? And and, and, and and sew up the U.S. market, which is the most lucrative and biggest market in boxing, you know, in most of professional sports. Why you worried? Why you worried about another market? And you ain't even got your market sold up. And now he's going to be working with Frank Warren. He's already been working with Frank Warren, and now he's going to attack your market and sink your battleship. All in the meantime, you over here trying to get his fighters. He about to sell your market up. So. When you when when Eddie Hearn fails over here, which is is going to happen, obviously the zone is putting pressure on him. He says we need a Marky Garcia, we need this, we need that, we need a Charlo. He ain't gonna get them guys right now. So when 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 the zone you know kicks a, kicks his butt from out of the zone and bring another promoter over there to run it, well Oscar De La Hoya, okay, he gonna go back home. He ain't gonna have nothing. He not gonna be the king of his market. And at some point, he's gonna have to beg Al Heyman to make the Joshua Wilder fight happen. This is, this is a, this is a power move. This is a real true boss move that he's doing. You know, and and now his his shows is gonna be shown on ITV. So it's no need for Box Nation. It's no need for Sky to get the rights to Sky. He's gonna be putting shit on ITV, and I believe um, the other one that uh, BT BT Sports. So he he's bringing his his boxing over to the UK. And he's gonna bring, he gonna get them British boxing. And I love to hear Eddie Hearn's rebuttal, cause he likes to rebuttal so fast. He worried about Billy and Usyk, so he should be talking some more to Cook and Cashes this week. And this, this came out of nowhere. This was a bomb. I, I didn't think Al Heyman had any interest on, on in British fighters, and he must have had a plan for Joe Joyce. And Joe Joyce is gonna be an integral part of this plan. A huge part of this plan, Joe Joyce is gonna be. So it kind of, it kind of, it kind of, it shows you that he's already two or three steps ahead of Eddie Hearn every time. Eddie Hearn had the zone; he came through with the with the Fox deal. You know, Eddie Hearn did something else; he came through with the Showtime doubling their dates deal. Eddie Hearn done something else; he comes through and he's gonna sew up his market. He's trying to kick Eddie Hearn not only out the U.S. market, but he's trying to kick Eddie Hearn out of the entire British market. He's trying to bankrupt. He's trying to bankrupt Matchroom. 
And 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 the final nail in the coffin is going to be Deontay Wilder beating Anthony Joshua. If that happens, so he's trying to corner his market and draw his market up, and show people what real good boxing is, and put on the best fights that 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 Britain has to offer. And him and Frank Warren trying to double team Eddie Hearn, and I know Frank Warren is mad because how they did Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders, hey, he cheated. He did that to himself. But Frank Warren got a vendetta against Eddie Hearn. And he'll team up with somebody from the States just to get Eddie Hearn up out of there. So they're going to try to get Eddie up out of there. I'm pretty sure Eddie got a trick or two under, uh, up uh, under his sleeve, though. I'm sure that he does. But it won't be for you UK guys. It won't be no more of that Sean Porter and Danny Garcia crap. Where you don't get to see that fight. Where you got to have an eye, uh, uh, a VPN. and Or you got to sneak around and help somebody show it on Facebook. Al Heyman's going to give you those fights. Now I'm hopefully hopefully they won't be on no ITV box office, no pay per view. I think they're gonna be straight ITV or PTS Sports, whatever situation may be. You know, and also he put I mean, I can't believe this dude is going to Britain putting on shows. I I mean he must Eddie Hearn really must have rubbed him the wrong way. You know? This dude is respectable, but like uh one of the Washington twins told Fred from Barbershop Conversation, he don't take no shit. He respectable, he fair, he honest, he a hustler. But he a dog. He a dog. And to be a be a real businessman, you got to be shrewd. You got to be cutthroat. Being your own boss is not for everybody. Everybody ain't cutthroat enough. You can't be MC Hammer, for, for example. And when I say MC Hammer, MC Hammer want to take care of the whole Oakland, the whole Bay Area. Ooh, my E-40 voice. He wanted to make sure everybody was good, take care of everybody, pay everybody bills. He went broke, taking care of the hood. You can't be that. As a businessman, you got to cut who need to be cut off. Who ain't useful to you, who ain't doing shit but pulling you down, you got to cut them guys off. You got to be able to be cutthroat. You got to be able to be cold hard. Those are the best businessmen that can make the tough decisions at the drop of a dime and don't and don't shed a tear. Cold hearted. Now, Eddie Hearn came over here stumping on his tail after Al Heyman helped him out. Al Heyman helped Kell Brook get a, book, uh, get a belt on his television network or, or one of his networks on PBC, you know, he ain't been nothing but nice. Jamie McDowell came over there defending his belt and Corpus Christi over Kamada, one of his other fighters. And then you come over here, you trying to stump on my, you trying to stump on my, on my ground. And like, I ain't going to breathe fire back like a Komodo dragon. You out your mind. You out your mind. That's the exact face that Eddie Hearn got right now. He don't know who he playing with. You know, you, you really take an aim at a guy that you can't even get in the room with. You take an aim at a guy that you don't even know where he stay at. But he know everything about you because you loud mouth. And don't be surprised if he takes some of your fighters and start managing some of your some of your fighters. He do. He manages Jesse Vargas still. He manages uh Danny Jacobs still. So get get ready for UK fans to see a rise in boxing over there. Get ready to see some of the best events. Now, you banks and James McGill, I don't know how huge it is over there. But I guess, you know, Al Heyman must have put some money up to make that fight happen because that fight has stalled big time. That fight fight has stalled. And now it makes you wonder what, what plans do we got for Joe Joyce over there? You know, well, who is Joe Joyce going to be fighting over there? Are he going to be putting Joe Joyce fights over over there on ITV or BTS Sports, whatever it is, uh, from the United States? Is Joe Joyce that big over there? I don't know how big Joe Joyce is over there. But apparently, you know, they snatched him from Day, uh, Hay, uh, David Hay and Richard Schaefer and them, you know. Well, he snatched him from David Hay Management, excuse me, Haymaker Match, whatever it is. You know, so at the end of the day, Al Heyman coming to the UK, baby. You know, and, and people telling me the kind, oh, he ain't the most powerful man about who is. The most powerful, the most powerful people don't talk the loudest. Rarely do you see the most powerful people be the loudest person in the room. Anybody got to be loud and go out their way to tell you how good and how great their product is. They ain't powerful. They're con men. Con men talk a lot. Con men is sleazy like Eddie Hearn. He's a con man. He putting all them, them dry pay-per-view events, putting taking uh, Dillian White and Derek to Jordan, making a pay-per-view event, and Joseph Parker and Dillian White. Those are all their pay-per-view events. Maybe in the UK they is. The United States, they wouldn't even be on Bounce TV. Now, Hamlin will give them some real fights over there. Some, maybe real domestic British fights. Maybe real United States fights you're going to get over there. You're going to get them Fox fights on ITV. That's what you're going to get. 
You got a lot of Fox fight. You want them extra Showtime dates fights. So uh, everybody over there that need to buy the rights to them, trying to buy the rights to the U.S. fights to put them on Box Nation, Sky, and all them other all, uh, other uh people that want to buy the fights. He already got a pipeline. He took in all them U.S. shows, them thirty shows they got on Showtime, them thirty shows they got on uh, with them show, them t uh twenty one shows they got on Fox and FS1. That's gonna be on ITV or BST Sports, whatever he's gonna do it on. You need all that over there. And on top of that, you're going to get your domestic clashes over there as well, too. Power move, man. That's a power, power move. He trying to, not only is he going to try to kick Eddie Hearn out of this market, he going to have, he, Eddie Hearn ain't going to have a market to go to. Boy, power move. Goodfellas Sports TV. I linked, uh, I linked the article to the description. You can research some more as well. There's plenty of articles out there by now. Salute one time for the one time, Mr. One Time for the One Time Live from Detroit. Shout out to everybody. What up, though? We on Facebook and Twitter. We got a Facebook group and Facebook likes page. Both of the links in the description. I'm uh, still the boss clinic on Facebook. I'm in a uh in a uh midst of changing it, uh changing it. Also, we on Twitter. You can add uh add me, you can DM me on Facebook and Twitter, you can email me video requests, uh questions, you got a story you want me to talk about, whatever it may be. Also, uh if you want to uh make a donation to the channel, the links is there as well. And uh, we on you. I mean, you also can uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube and hit the bell icon so you know we go live. We gone.